What's going on you guys? So uh, as you can tell by the title of the video, I bought another car. It's pretty cool. Not really my style, but I'm actually really enjoying it. I've had it about two weeks now. Um, just to catch up on some things. Um, I know I said I was going to be making more videos, obviously, with the bike. Uh, and I've tried to do that. I've attempted to make like a moto vlog like six or seven times now. And I keep trying different mics and none of them are working. So like I go and film for like an hour and I come back and the audio is just terrible and I can't even use it. Um, so I'm still working on that. I do want to make the videos and I bought the chin set up and everything for my helmet. I'm just having issues with the mic. Um, but that being said, uh, so I, as far as this goes, let me just go ahead and show you the car. So it is a 1996 uh, MX-5 Miata. Um, it has almost 300,000 miles on. I think it's 285 and some change. Um, it is honestly really fun. It's definitely the slowest car I've ever owned. Um, that being said, I've never owned anything like this that I can just beat the crap out of and not care about. Um, as far as the car goes, it is pretty much bone stock except for a three inch lift, the wheels and tires, and then it has like a MagnaFlow AutoZone muffler under it and it's still super quiet, so um, not a big deal. It came with a hard top, but I figured if I was gonna be off-roading this and beating it up, I don't wanna beat up a hard top. So I ended up selling it, getting some cash and the soft new soft top and whatnot. Um, as you can see, I've already had some fun with it. Um, it's uh the interior is pretty clean um everything works windows ac heat power um got better speakers little single dent radio kicker sub the seats are immaculate to have this many miles on it um, both sides are clean both headrest speakers work um it's just a really i mean it definitely needs a cleaning but otherwise a super clean car as far as under the hood goes again it's bone stock stock intake stock header manifold um, it does have a Hoonigan oil cap cover. So, I mean, it's got a little bit of mods. Um, it only has one headlight cover. Uh, looks like whoever owned it before me tried to make one out of license plates, which, I mean, I'm just going to leave it because, you know, it's kind of cool. A um, little, little bit of surface rust on the windshield wipers and whatnot, but, I mean, overall, it's a pretty clean Miata for what it is. And uh, the deal I got on it, and speaking of that, let me explain. So... I know y'all remember the Vossen wheels I had on the Mustang. Well, I've had them listed for sale forever because I know last time I made a video, I was telling you I wanted to turn it into a, like a track car. Well, the Vossens, they were 19, so they were the good size, but they, they were heavy. They were, you know, they were just more like show wheels. Uh, so I had them listed for sale almost since I bought the car, so a few months. Um, and I had somebody message me on Facebook. He said, hey, this is an odd trade for some wheels, but are you interested in a Miata? And sent me that. So I was like, you know, I, I'm pretty interested in it. Um, so I ended up meeting with him. He was cool with it. We traded. I got the Miata. He got the wheels. Um, ended up getting a sweet deal, selling the hard top, cash, soft top. Got new wheels for the Mustang. Um, that being said, these are... SVE Series 3s, they're 20 inch, which isn't ideal for me, but it was a good deal and it's something the Mustang can roll around on. I'm definitely going to put 19s back on it that are a little wider because you can see this front offset is pretty weak. Um, the back's okay. It uh, It's a low car. Um, so if you look at the back, it's almost tucking. Yeah, it's kind of hard to on camera because it looks like there's a gap right here but i have to like point my hand up and go in i can't put it straight in so i feel like if it was any wider we might get some fender rub um but that being said i don't plan on having these super long um they look really good on the car i think the deep dish with the gray and the chrome lip you know look really good um but again i'm trying to kind of turn this into a track car and maybe if i have time later in this video I'm going to start pulling some of the interior out because since I have this now, this is my daily, I can really focus on starting to mod this and turn it into a track car. But with that being said, we're definitely going to go play in the Miata. Um, there's a couple little, it, ha, it rained about three days ago, uh, so there's a little bit of mud. I know there's some dirt roads. I need to run some errands too, so we'll hit stuff while we're out. Um, but I will tell you, I lost my uh, 
my head mount for the GoPro when we moved. Uh, still trying to find it, so it's going to be rough video on while I'm driving because it's going to be you know one hand one hand filming. Um, so if it's rough, you know, bear with me, but I'll video the best I can. All right, I drove over to one of the close dirt roads, which is right in front of us, and here we go. Let me roll the windows up. Front tire scrub really bad. If I slow down too much, it like gets stuck on itself. <laughs> Definitely spinning. Okay, so I wonder. I don't know how soft this is. Pretty soft, I'm already spinning. Yeah, that's uh, I wish. You know what, we're just gonna try to go straight. Oh yeah, we're spinning good now. move this log because that was a little rough yeah that's good then I'll just go back out the same way I came in let's see Too bad to be a little two-wheel drive car. It eats it up, really. I wish I had somebody with me so I could try to go through the deeper parts and in case I got stuck, they could pull me out. But you know, kind of got to do what I got right now. Plus, I really want to get the yeah, that's caked. <laughs> I really want to get my head head strap so I can keep both hands on the wheel and really sling it around. You know. feel like I've had enough speed I could just like launch it across there and into where I was but it would really suck to get stuck like right there in the middle of that water and then have to get out I could probably go right here let's try that let's try going right there Oh, that shadow 
good on camera because it was kind of sliding right there and I kind of wasn't paying attention. All right, guys, as you can see, we are here. We're going to get this washed up. Um, it looks like it's been a pretty long time since it's been washed. Obviously, I got a lot of the mud on it, but you can just see, like, it's just... I, I can't tell you the last time this has been washed. It was almost equally as dirty when I got it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and um, try to get this thing as clean as possible. These tires are rough. The bumpers are rough. Everything's just a ton of mud and dirt and stuff, like, just caked up under it. So we're going to try to get, like, as much as we can clean today. 